Hi guys, Sam from 3D here. In this short video, I would like to show you how you can squeeze vehicles 3D library. I will show you how to work with the rig, how to change materials, colors, and so on and so forth. So let's jump to it. Okay, if you are new to Blender, let's go and check our tutorials, which are super easy to follow. They are like two, three, four minutes videos for people who just downloaded the Blender. Check them out. Here is the list. You can check it out. I'm in the Blender. And as you can see, we have like a nice band here. The structure is pretty much almost identical for every other vehicle. It's rigged, it's fully rigged, you can open doors, if it has doors you can turn on and off the lamp and so on. Let's take a look for example like the layers. In the layers we have like camera lights and background so here is basically what is set and here is the van. If I want to move with the rig I need to go to pose mode and I need to click on the bone and simply I can move the wheels and steer wheel. This is how I change uh, the wheels okay if i want to change how the vehicle is set this is how i can play with that you can like go to right up down and so on basically i'm in a pause mode i'm clicking on bone and then with g g shortcut i'm just clicking on it cool if i want to for example open doors again like click on the bone line and just move with the g if i want to open i need to click on the r again on the line and i can open it so this is how i'm opening the doors here are three shortcuts where i can like turn on and off the lamps open the front doors and open the side door okay cool so this is about the rig Let's take a look on the how it is working if I want to change the color. It's pretty simple because what we are using, we are using textures on top of that. So I need to click on this and it will unpack uh, the textures. Then I need to go to the file where this event is located. Okay, so in my case it's here and I'm going to see these textures and now this texture is unpacked. I'm going to open it in Photoshop. Okay, so I'm in Photoshop right now and if I want to change color, I just need to go to layer, hue saturation and I can simply change it. So now I can change it to blue or whatever color you want to. So let's say I like this one and I want to keep uh, the logo. So here is the red color for the logo. So I'm going to save it. Okay, now I load it. And as you can see, I change color to slight blue, right? As you can see, I change also this color. So probably this is what you want to change because it was red in the beginning. And also like the glass is, is a little bit going to pink color. So yes, as you can see in the Photoshop, this is, this is the color of the window. This is the color of the window. And I need to change this pinky one and this green one to just match uh, the color because this is this shouldn't be there like the green, right? So you can change it. So this was just the example how you can play with the color. It's pretty simple. As you can see, if I change it here, re-upload uh, to the original model, I will get new color. Okay, let's now check how I can add or append our different libraries. So for example, I want to append characters from characters.design. I just need to go to file, append and file find where is the characters uh, like the blend file okay i found the mail blend and now i'm going to just append mail let's go to character mail now it's appended as you can see here uh, i just need to be sure that nothing is selected from the pose and now i'm going to object mode and now i just need to scale it down like i can change the clothes Okay, let's move it a little bit and now you can see that I change character and now you can play with the fingers and you can play uh, with the character itself so you can change the colors. So for example, I want, I want to hide this part of, of generator because it can be pretty handy. You don't have to have it everything. So I'm just going to um, click on this little dot and you can see that blank generator is hidden. It is pretty useful because if you have multiple characters in one scene, uh, you can have different generators on top of each other. The same thing you can do for any other part of, of uh, the rig. So for example, right now I want to add the fingers. So this is how you can add like controllers for the fingers and now if I just move it uh, I can move them right so um, I'm going to suck them and this is how you can play this was just a brief explanation how you can append different libraries from 3d design and you can also add for example icons and it can be pretty complex scene and it can be pretty simple like for example I know for insurance company like insure this car 
and it, like this can be your customer and whatever. So this was a brief tutorial for you. If you have any questions, please reach out to me at samuel at 3d.design or in the comment section. If you want to learn more about the 3D vehicles, go to vehicles.design. If you want to append or combine more 3D libraries together and to build complex scenes, go to 3d.design and check out what we have there. If you have any idea for tutorial, write down in the comment. Follow us, give us like uh, to hack the algorithm of YouTube and please join us in our Discord server. Thank you so much and stay creative. Have a great day. Bye.